What's up guys, welcome back to Golf Simulator videos. We're here with the Rapsodo MLM2 Pro. We have a pretty exciting video for you guys. We're connected to the awesome Golf Simulator software and we are going to do a chipping test. So we're gonna fully review the short chipping from 30 yards and in from the Rapsodo MLM2 Pro. Now, if you watched my first look video, that first review we did, we did some short chipping and I was able to accomplish like eight or nine yards. Uh, that was the first time using the unit. I mean, I only had it literally for hours at that point in time. And and since then, I've been doing some more testing, and I think you're going to be pretty impressed with what my findings are. Now, if you're using an MLM2 Pro now, and you're, you've been doing some chipping testing, make sure you comment below. Let me know what you've come up with. Also, any questions that you have, share your feedback. I'd love to get all that in the comments. Um, I had some really fun engagement with everybody in the past couple days while we're testing the Rapsodo MLM2 Pro. And then if you're you know looking to purchase a Rapsodo MLM2 Pro, I do have a link pinned to the top of the comments and in the description. It does help support the channel. I appreciate that. And it sounds like stock will be returning here very soon. So keep an eye out for that. But let's go ahead and go over to our software and we're gonna go to range. And then I'm gonna show you this cool practice facility that they have. So go to approach shots. And once you enter approach shots, you're going to see that they have this amazing practice facility. I mean, they have everything from island greens to longer iron shots from 225, 200 yards. Love these little island greens, very cool. They even have this driving, you know, down the middle, 275 yards to kind of like a tight fairway. So you can work on some drives. There's a 60 yard shot right in front of you. And then check out this over here. This is a 30 yard shot. Might not be perfect to get my you know, aim right on. I could probably use my touch screen, that'd probably be easier. But you have to get the, the aim just kind of right. Independent. That's good enough. I mean, that's basically on the pin. So um, you drag to aim. You know, so depending on how sensitive your mouse is, mine's very sensitive. Um, I like it that way, but it's obviously a little more difficult if you're trying to get it, you know, pin on, which that's pretty much dead set. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with uh, just kind of like 30 yard shots. All right, so we'll see how my short game distances are, but um, my goal is to hit this about, about 30 yards up there and get it to land by the pin. All right, I, I thought I pulled that a little bit. A little long, a little pull, carried 27 yards. So really I need to carry this less. You know, I was thinking 30 in my head and uh, really I need to carry this a little less and let it bounce up. So let's get this a little less, get it to straighten out a little bit as well. Not the best strike. It's all right. I like that it read that because it wasn't the best strike. I kind of was a tiny bit behind the ball with a little bit of an open face. All right, so do one more. Felt like that distance was pretty good though. A little over 20 yards, let it go up towards the pin. Oh, that could be real good. All right, so we're dialing it in a little bit here. That was a 23 yard carry to four feet. So uh, let's do one more. Let's do one more, see if I can replicate that now that we're getting the feel for it a little bit. A little bit left, I think. Yep. Yep, gotta work on the short game here. All right, let's see if we can get one, one more real close. That felt pretty good. Ah, oh, still a little left, but not bad. Not bad, kind of that bounce and roll up. All right, to six feet. Now, let's try this first. First, I'd like to launch one up. So we'll go more up in the air with it and we'll try to land it about 20 yards. All right, so it doesn't seem to like more of that kind of like high, high launch, if you wanna call it a, a flop or something, but um, just kind of like a, a high launching shot. There we go. So high launching short shot, 20 yards, just like I was trying. All right. So it, let's do one kind of like higher launching a little bit faster. So it's like carry like over 30 yards. That launched pretty high. See how it's higher than all the other balls? Oh, look at this. Maybe that was the shot we needed the whole time. <laughs> I said higher launch, 30 yards is a little short and it went in the hole. 
All right, so you can get those higher launching shots, you know, reading uh, quite well. We had the one little miss, you know, and who knows? I mean, who knows what that is? Um, the thing is, is when you're dealing with a $599 unit, I would I would expect to be a, you know, a couple little misses. And honestly, I would rather there be a complete miss rather than a misread. All right, so miss the shot if for some reason I can't read it rather than having it do something weird. Um, all right, so let's start bringing it in shorter. All right, so what, like 15 yards? 45 feet or so? Well, even a little shorter. That was only 11. All right, we can keep reeling it in from there. That's fine. Some of these aren't even good chips at all. So there's the eight, which I guess is pretty good. Just not making great contact on a few of them. That was a nice straight ball there, 10 yards. All right, let's start getting it shorter. We'll try to go like six or seven on this one. Uh-oh. It didn't like it. It didn't like it. All right, let's try it again. There's seven. There's seven. Now, this is what I found. I found that I needed to get the ball launching a little bit higher. It's going to be pretty short. Five. Five. Can we get it shorter than five? Oh, five again. But well, there's two consistent five shots. But I feel like you have to get it up in the camera a little more for these super short ones. And that might have been the problem before is my chipping was just a little low, a little low launching. Oh, that's got to be four or less. Oh, there's four. There's four. All right. Can we get three? I think that's going to be four again. Yep, God, it was close, but look at three consistently in the row in a row, only four yards. I really want three though. Come on, we can do it. How about that one? Ah, oh! <laughs> it's so close, so close. I have to land it like at the bottom of the screen, and I'm going a little too far. Oh, that was that was no good there. That was like thin, but it was, I mean, it was five, but I knew that was going to be too much. Right at the bottom of the screen is my goal. Can it do it? Oh, three. <laughs> there it is. That landed right at the bottom of the screen, which is, you know, we want to call it 10, 11 feet or whatever. It kind of like hit the bottom of the screen. Um, wow. That, uh. That's awesome. So this is the game changer here is just these little short chips. You got to lift the ball up just a little more. Ah, see how I kind of like bladed it, got like wristy with it, but like you can still, it's still reading it. I'm not that good at these little, little short, soft chips. There's another short one. Oh, four. I mean, that was... That was close to being three right there. That was really close. All right, I'll do one more for you guys. I'd like to get three again. But see how consistently it's reading these? That hit before the screen. Three, there it is. That wasn't that good. The, the club kind of hit a little be, uh, behind the ball. Oh, that one thudded. That was like dead, straight, perfect three-yard chip right there. Well, and look at the spin. It's even getting the spin quite well on these. I think this is this is what everyone was looking for. Everyone wanted to see the shorter chipping. I mean, I don't think you could do two yards. Um, I don't even know if I can chip that short. 
Like that like landed halfway. Yeah. But I also am not launching the ball that high. We can try one more. Like if I launch it a little higher and super soft. Yeah, see I can't I can't get those short, short chips like that. Like that's, if it reads it, yeah, it's another three yard shot. I mean, I'm getting three yard shots consistently here. I just don't think I could, you could move it back a little bit further maybe, if that would help. That's only what, six feet or so to the unit? Let's see what that does. Can that get down to two? Oh, so close, so close. That might be what you need to do. If you wanna get like a two yard shot, move it back to like six feet and just do the, softest chip you can can it read that no that i mean that landed that landed six feet in front of the ball i mean that is a really short chip i don't think you're going to need that yep so it actually that last time was reading it attempting to read it um so somewhere in between that six to seven foot range, move it back maybe just a tiny bit. See, it can pick it up. Oh, we did it. That's the key. You need to get it back to about six and a half feet and carry it just right at like two yards. And that, and I was, have, I was struggling with some of those chips. I mean, those weren't launching just the way I wanted them to or anything. Um, I'm not, the best at these I'll, I'll be straightforward with you um but there you go all the way down to two yards so much different than my first initial testing and that's what i wanted to show you guys so um i think this has been a very in-depth chipping test for the rapsodo mlm2 pro interested what you guys think make sure you comment below what your results are questions you have everything along those lines i appreciate you guys watching as always stay tuned There'll be a lot more coming soon.